Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mesdata Mission Channel. Today in this session, we will see and understand about the two terminologies or two uh, attributes of the JMeter listeners, which is nothing but response time and latency. So in the performance testing, you have to understand every component or every attribute or a variable you have to understand so that you will give an exact assessment for the performance of the application so this response time and latency will be available in the listeners so we in the so far in the last session we have discussed about creation of simple test plan under that we have created a view results tree listener under that you find the response time and latency information or in the summary report also you will see that we will create in the next session so in case if you are new to this session do watch my earlier session so that you will understand about what we discuss in the JMeter series so let's understand the response time and latency in this session so to watch the entire session so I am a client I will be anywhere in the globe I can be in the America I can be in the Asia I can be in the UK anywhere so I am need to get uh, information which I am trying to search example uh, I wanted to see the JMeter related content so JMeter related content is somewhere on the UK I'm on US so from US I'm trying to get the information of JMeter so JMeter is situated somewhere in the server so I need to send my request so I will send my request so I say I want the JMeter information okay I have sent the information to the server so server took some time and processed it and sent back to the me as a response so the time which is taken from my end so I have sent my request request started from my end and reach it to the server and get the information back to the client which is to me so this is called as latency and the overall time which is taken for the processing the request and request from the client to server server to client plus processing time is called as a response time so this is a simple understanding of response time and latency and if I give you a mathematical example so I can give you a client started with the time equal to zero seconds started a request sending to the server so I have started at zero and by the time it reached to the server it took two seconds after that server processed that request so processing of that request took a five seconds and after that I have sent my request I mean response back to my client so it took only one second so this two seconds and one second which is in the network layer which is a two seconds and one second it is called as a latency and overall time it took for all this in transaction to done is called as a response time so more uh, time it took to get the information in the network layer is called as latency so more latency represents a bad application and less latency is refers to a good application and overall processing time also if it is lesser then it is a good application so more response time it took the bad performance lag we will see so one user taking a hundred seconds if thousand users are trying to access it will go beyond 500 seconds also so such kind of experience will be a, a result a bad user experience and to give you a defined definition of latency so latency is a time spent on the network so in this example it took was two seconds plus one second it is called three seconds so overall latency time was three seconds and the response time is latency plus processing time so here the response time plus and latency is equal to eight seconds so this is the definition of response time and latency so these are the two terminologies which is important for the performance testing hope you understand this small session so we will meet you in the next session thank you and if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if the information is helpful to you do subscribe and share with a colleague thank you